Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond Tyrus Thomas. I do believe this Tyrus Thomas is going to be the best Pink Diamond that we've gotten so far this year in my team. I think he's that good. I'm incredibly excited to use this card. I have added badges to this card, in fact, before even recording this gameplay. Got him on my own account. He is going to be ridiculous, and he will be playing on my team. In fact, I think you can make an argument. I'm not kidding. If you badge this card out that he is the best small forward in the game, regardless of tier... I'm not kidding. I think he's that good. That is how high I am on this Tyrus Thomas card. I'm going to explain why. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily buy team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. And let's take a look at Pink Diamond Tyrus Thomas. So, six foot nine, small forward option. 97 offense, 99 defense with a 97 driving layup. 97 close shot, 89 mid-range, 83 ball. Yes, you want to boost that up with a shoe. 85 free throw, 95 drive dunk 86 ball handle 85 pass sack defensively 90 plus across the board 90 rebounding 90, 96 speed 95 speed ball 93 excel 98 vert 89 strength 95 stamina 93 lateral quickness he is insane now he has 19 base hall of fame badges i have added four i will explain but um hop area wizard fast twitch posterizer rise up i added blinders dead eye limitless range and then anchor clamps glove post lockdown pogo stick re box obvious rebound chaser bunny precision dunker i added spot finder as well and then blow by speed booster red sticker bulldozer removable enforcer so i added four shooting badges to him on hoff i also added gold agent three everything else on the card um is base uh besides those shooting badges i just added a few shooting badges to him to really upgrade his shooting he did not have any of those badges at all so i would recommend adding limitless blinders agent three um Limitless Blinders, Agent 3, and then maybe Dead Eye Spot Finder, like those last couple badges, you could go a little bit more with what you want to go with, Claymore, whatever the case may be. But definitely Agent 3 Blinders and Limitless Range, I think, are pretty important. And then I went Dead Eye and Spot Finder on the other two. Um, but the thing about this Tyrus Thomas card that really makes him so great is his animations. Jamal Murray behind the back with an elite level uh, size up escape, which is that uh, Kimba size up escape. Really, really great sigs and an elite level drag back. I mean, he has top tier animations besides his same side has he, which is not a very good same side hezzy um so you're gonna have to keep that in mind you got to go diagonally up to trigger the same side hezzy his fade is nate robinson's fade which is a little bit strange but honestly i do think is actually a very good fade feels like it creates a lot of space really going to both sides especially going left but even going right as well it does create a lot of space so it's kind of an odd animation but it creates a good amount of space especially left but right definitely not bad either uh need to figure out the timing on it going left i will say that i haven't used this fade much so it's going to take a little bit of time to figure it out but i think once i figure it out it's going to be really good because it creates a lot of space and overall he's looking really good man Kyrie dribble style as well means you don't even really have to trigger his same side burst because you can just run out of it and He's a freak athlete, phenomenal defender, half a movable enforcer in addition to everything else. This is the best pink diamond card in the game. And with a release like that, I, he might be the best small forward in the game, period. That's how good this Tyrus Thomas is. The reason that I added all these badges to him is because of how ridiculous his animations are. Between these SIGs, this release, as well as the elite level defense and the elite level slashing, he is just legitimately one of the best cards in the game without a shadow of a doubt at all. He is that good, and I am super duper excited to use this card and see how good he can be in my team. Top into a game. Let's try out Tyrus Thomas. All right, hopping into this game. Me and my opponent are wearing very, very, very similarly covered colored jerseys, which is kind of annoying, but his team is not that good. He's got a very mediocre team, to be honest, so it's going to be an interesting matchup here. I've already recorded two Tyrus Thomas gameplays. One of them was a great game against a bad team, so I'm not showing that one just because there's no point to playing that one out. Terrible team, and this dude's team is not very good either, but at least it's better than that. The other one was a really good gameplay that I forgot to hit record, so that is really, really annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, we're going to do what we can here to have a really good gameplay here with Tyrus Thomas. Hopefully this one, third time's the charm, will be the one that is really good and we can upload. There we go. Tyrus Thomas, open three ball, knocks the first one down. The SIGs are what makes this card special. The Kyrie dribble style, making dribbling easy. The Kemba escape, the Jamal Murray behind the back, the uh, really good drag back, the top tier release. Like the animations are what makes him elite. Because obviously defensively and as a slasher, he's really good and really complete. But he would just be a mediocre pink diamond if he had a not great release and no SIGs. He'd be a fine three and D athletic, pretty good card. But he wouldn't be this jump off the page elite elite level pink diamond or anything like that unfortunately i did not even mean to do that but i was trying to stick dunk and then i, I like flicked it up and down and then i immediately like let go of the stick and i didn't think it was gonna make me shoot it and it did so didn't mean to do that but he draws a foul gets to the free throw line oh well 
The thing about Tyrus is he's one of the most athletic small forwards in the game, and he's an amazing defender with half anchor and movable enforcer, that type of stuff, in addition to the perimeter badges. He does so many things well on the court, and then you give him top tier animations, and he's just, he's the man. Legitimately, I have a shot there. I didn't shoot it. I have a shot here. I'm going to shoot that one, and that one's going to be green. Easy bucket. You don't need much space to get his jump shot off either. It's one of those releases. The Ben Shepard base is one of the bases that's like a truly incredible park base. One of the very best bases in the game for sure. So him having that release is, is just a, another thing that makes him absolutely phenomenal um hit it to mr tyrus thomas again stop here behind the back please can you just escape away drag back thank you and now go back to this behind the back drag back behind oh my dude i'm putting hoff handles for days on him too i'm not gonna lie because gold handles for days isn't quite cutting it right now and i think i want hoff this card needs to play like for a while on my team i i might put off i have a bunch of hall of fame badges still from locking in all those or for buying all those hoffs a long time ago um tyrus thomas another open catch and shoot easy bucket his playmaking ability with his ability to like combine sigs and moves at, at such an elite level is just it's my favorite part about the card and it's the thing that really makes him so great i mean there's other good parts about the card for sure but that is the thing to me that just makes him next level insane really good defense there walled that up really well hit it over to mr thomas now come back this way i'm not actually my sigs have not been very good this game my animation so far the way i'm dribbling but still behind the back gets me wide open again easy bucket and He's got 10 points right now, and I'm not even like dribbling all that well. Admittedly, we're not going up against a great team, so I should pretty much score at will regardless, but we are exactly scoring at will right now. Easy contest. Uh, he's also going to be, again, one of the best locks in the game, so you have a primary lock on one end of the court and a primary ball handler on the other. That was a little bit of a force, 8% early. I got a load-up animation, too. It wasn't really the animation we were looking for, so not a great shot there, but in general, been having a lot of success this game so far. Good downhill drive by Zahn. He finishes through Hakeem. Wow. What a finish right there. Um, come get the ball again, please. Or I'll actually just set a nice screen here and see if we can come off the screen. Open catch. There we go. Now come this way. Drag back. And we have blinders. I, I had a blinders look and I kind of hesitated. And by the time I shot it, it was 10%. That's too much. I need to put a three-point shoe on him. I need to upgrade more of his badges if I can. But this card will be playing on my lineup for a while. His animations. I think he's the best small forward in the game. I do. Because of the eliteness as a slasher, which I haven't even really showcased. I think we got to go get a dunk next possession to just showcase that stick dunking slashing ability as well. Um, but his completeness as a slasher and a defender is really the the cherry on top because he's not just an offensive card. He's not just a fun offensive card that's kind of a liability defensively. Like some of the other top tier SIGs and animation guys in the game kind of tend to be. He is a top tier card in every aspect of the game who also has top tier animations and stuff. Did not mean to do that. That was supposed to be a stick dunk there. Uh, and now he's absolutely gassed. So unfortunately, I don't have time to st or I don't have the ability to really stick dunk with him anymore. I have not executed as well as I would like in this game. I'm going to be honest. My execution has not been ideal. But... This card has been exceptional either way. So that part is definitely a W. Hit it inside one more time. Akeem, I'll just take a stand in, I guess, because he's getting tired at this point. Definitely need to put some playmaking. I mean, he's got playmaking badges, but I'm tempted to upgrade some of his other playmaking badges and add more so that he's a better playmaker. Because like with the six he has, I really want his playmaking to be phenomenal. Minute four left. Throw it up here. I really want to get to this rim with a little bit of, oh my gosh, my Elgato just cut out, didn't it? Well, you're going to have to trust me on the fact that I just got a stick dunk that drew a foul. My Elgato just cut out. Are you kidding me? That is really annoying. Um, all right. Well, let me fix that, and then we're going to do the outro here in just a sec. Good steal, Tyrus. I got the Elgato back working. Let's get one more highlight with him, and then we're going to call it a video. I'm going to try to get myself like a fat stop for it. Ooh, I had it too. It's a good move. I should have shot it. The lack of stamina is the one thing that's kind of sketching me out at this point. Oh, he's got slashing take. Okay, we got to try to get one stick dunk on camera then. We got to, right? Just have to. All right. 12 points, 2 assists. I mean, he's played amazingly. Give me that. That, ball, that ball definitely just went through my body. That should have been a block, uh, but that's okay. Let's face the floor here. Let's go get one bucket. One nice little stick dunk real quickly, and then we'll call it a gameplay, I think, is, is what we're going to say. Uh, burst this way. Attack downhill. And there we go. Tyrus Thomas is an incredible slasher as well. There is nothing this card does not do at a high level on the court. And I know this wasn't actually my best gameplay. I did not execute as well as I should have. I kind of over dribbled as well, which got him tired more quickly than he should have been. But he is an amazing card who played phenomenally well, despite me not playing all that great. 14 points, two assists, one steal, five and nine, two of five from three. Tyrus Thomas is the best pink diamond card in the game and arguably the best small forward in my team. He is that good. This is a must add card on everybody's team. You need to get him and you need to badge him out. He is phenomenal. I hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.